Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to check whether TikTok is present on Play Store or not. And not only TikTok, but we can check any other application on Google Play. So far, we have written code to open a browser and a URL. So I go to Play Store and I search for TikTok. So I see all the related applications. To make a check, I need to extract all the names of these applications and verify whether my application is present there or not. So you can see here, once we navigate to the URL, we need to set the document object set ht equals ie dot document. Now we need to go to the developer options and we need to extract the properties for that element. So I take this inspector to the name of the application and we can see here it is an anchor tag with class equals title. If I check for all the elements on the page using control F and then dot title dot is for class. This is a CSS selector. So it gives me 100 plus elements. So I set a object named as elements equals ht dot get elements by class name and I give argument as title. So it will extract all these elements which have class title and put it in elements. Now after fetching all the elements in elements, we need to iterate through all these elements and print their names on console. So we use for each element in elements and then inside we do debug.print text. Now if we run it, we can see that it prints all the application names on the console. So after printing, we can also put a check that if my name of application matches exactly with the name which I'm searching for, in that case, give me the name or give me a status that my application is present. Otherwise, say a message that it is not present. So this is the functionality of get elements by class name and you have seen a real example how we extract information from web pages. Stay connected and see more such examples about data scraping. Thank you.